Hey, this is Andrew with Hands-On Technology. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm here to show you one of our features called the Treatment Progressions feature in our documentation module. So what you're going to do is open up our documentation. When you are in any of the screens, you can go ahead and click on Manage, move to Data, and then access our Treatment Progressions button. From here, you'll get this screen. Um, typically, it'll be blank when you first start if you haven't added any. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and add a progression. So we're going to say this progression is for the ACL. Uh, you have the option here to create an owner, so if you'd like, you can make it just yours, or you can allow access for everyone in the clinic. So you're going to click OK, and this is going to bring up our progressions screen where you can actually add and take away different treatments. So we're going to start with a parent treatment. So what you do is you say, you can either access this drop down or type in uh, what you're actually searching for. So you're, you can say first two sets of 10, second three sets of 10, and then third is three. <clears throat> so this is going to be his progression for the knee ball squats. You can also access, uh, if you want them to do a home exercise program of two sets of ten, you can do that, and you will see that later. Now, when it's completed, you have the option to delete the treatment or discharge the treatment, which is totally up to you on how you would like it to, uh, to go when it's finished. So now we've got our parent treatment here. We're going to add a child treatment. And what our child treatment is going to do you'll be able to see later is allow you to really have a flowing uh, chart here. So once we close this and we close this, when we access our treatment portion, we're going to show you an initial eval, but this will come up in every single treatment. Uh, when we access our progression, we choose our ACL progression, you've got this uh, knee ball squats come up as our first one. And you can add multiple exercises here, but this one just has this uh, child and parent one set. So when we move forward, we have three sets. Let's say they complete the first one, um, but on their second one, they need to move back just to two sets because they couldn't complete it. So you can really move forward and save time with this. Uh, but as you can see, we're at the knee ball squats. And he's going to go three sets, three sets of 15. And now, once he's completed that, we can move over to the hamstring curls. <clears throat> so this is a pretty powerful tool that can help you uh, quickly set up exercise programs for your patients and really measure their results. I hope this was helpful for you today, and you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.